Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and if you're on Windows 11 24H2, finally, the uh, update preview, the bug fixing updates are here. Now, um, if you have a brand new Copilot Plus PC machine, uh, there's a lot of new features in this um 24h2 update a lot i mean it's like your copilot plus pc machine has tons of new things that it can do all in general um due to the ai capabilities so there's improved search uh there's improved um locating pictures that are stored in the cloud there's uh input stuff that is also improved quite a lot so quite a few little things for Copilot Plus PC machines. For the rest, a lot of uh, fixes. Uh, one is, of course, a new gamepad keyboard layout uh, for touch screens in Windows 11. But for the rest, um, there's a um, re better re reliability of the CTL monitor uh, that had uh, problems with uh, system restarts. Uh, they have fixed quite a few little things in uh, the boot menu, fixed an update that stops responding and rolls back uh, that is due to a uh, non-functional boot menu. There's a um, fix for the file explorer. Now, it said in some cases... Uh, some more menu in the file explorer command bar opens in the wrong direction. They say it's fixed, uh, the see more uh, menu, but um, I'm sorry, you have not fixed it here. It still opens in the wrong direction. So, uh, nope, not fixed on this. <coughs> the three little dots in the file explorer. So tell me. If some of you want to try it and say it's fixed on your machine, let me know, but I don't think it is. Uh, they um, fixed a general reliability issue where there was a blue screen with uh, PDC watchdog timeout. Uh, they fixed a uh, network uh, problem that doesn't display correctly network connections. Uh, screen orientation are fixed also. Uh, task manager now calculates CPU usage differently for processors, for processes performance and user pages, so that it actually gives more of a standard metric in the task manager. So to help um, kind of you know show the same kind of detail you would have with a third-party software, uh, they fixed uh, the. Um, Display kernel with high dynamic range, which had some issues with the Dolby uh, Vision uh, missing specific features. Um, they also have fixed um, out-of-the-box experience where there was some problems sometimes when you're trying to install Windows. Uh, stuff like that. So um, PowerShell also had a fix. Remote desktop has a fix. So quite a lot of fixes for 24H2. And once again, if you're on a Copilot Plus PC machine, a lot of new features are now actually um, in there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. You can wait, of course, to install this only with Patch Tuesday if you don't want to install it now.